Hello everyone and welcome to Story by Data. Today I'd like to spend a little time talking about dashboard actions. This is a sample dashboard that I found um, just online, but I felt like it would serve its purpose to show a quick tutorial. So we have sales and profit by customer scatter plot here, which is the customer scatter chart. And we have a customer ranking, which is the customer rank chart. Now let's say we would like to be able to click on a specific bubble or circle in our scatter plot and have that name, only that name fil filtered in this chart here. So let's go ahead and create a quick dashboard action. We go to dashboard, we go to actions, and actions are really what make the charts m more interactive and that's really what I feel makes Tableau awesome. We're gonna go ahead and click add action. Now it's giving us options. Do you want to filter, highlight, or a URL? For our example today, we're gonna to go and click filter. Now what it does is automatically selects all of the source sheets and all of the target sheets. These are the default properties. What we're gonna assign as a source sheet is the customer scatter, which is this chart here. And the reason is we want the source to be the sheet where we click on it and use it as a filter. And we want the target sheets to be the customer rank and customer scatter. So I'm going to go ahead and um, also select the run action on, and I'm gonna select, uh, we have hover, select the menu. I'm gonna choose the select option. And then clearing the selection, you can either show all values, exclude all values, or leave the filter. Um, I'm gonna leave it as show all values because I do want people to be able to scroll and see the top ranking um, customers. So select show all values and then we're going to say okay we're going to say okay again now we're going to go ahead and test it so if i click on sanjeet it automatically filters and we get to see him in the bar chart we can play around with these and click on any names we have joel we have alejandro and so forth now filtering really makes the the point of this chart go away because what's what the ranking chart is meant to show is where does this person place overall amongst all customers so what we could do is instead we can go to dashboard action and instead of a filter we can uh, we can remove this and we can add an action to highlight which in this case would be more in line with what we want to see so we're going to have the same settings we're going to select, select, we're going to say OK, and OK. So now let's test it. What if I click Tamara? Oh, there we go. We can see Tamara is the second one, which was obvious to begin with because she's really an outlier, as is Sean. But what will be interesting is, you know, it's really not as easy to tell Daniel or Harry or Tom kind of where they play. So we can click on them, and right away we can have it highlight. Well, I thought this was useful um, to share, so I hope everybody enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.